Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm giving you a mini update on what am I reading currently in lockdown. So I, I'm lacking behind a little bit uh, because of the lockdown. I just, you know, I want physical books but I could not get hold of it. So I had some so I, I started reading them in lockdown and uh, I'll just give you a mini review about how are they, whether you should read it or not and what are the learnings I had from these books. So let's get started. Okay, so the first book is this one if you want something you never had then do something you never did it's a very small book it's only of 118 and 19 pages and it's a collection of you can say inspiring stories uh life lessons like through stories and uh, it gets over very easily it gets over in span of like one or two days and it's highly highly i like the uh, writing of it the stories are so easy telling and still at the end you get like a good moral out of it so yeah it's very good and read it if you can. Okay, so the second book is called The Journey Home. It's by and it's an autobiography of an American Swami called Radhanath Swami. This took the most amount of, amount of time in lockdown to finish. It's a huge book. It's uh, around, I would say, 350 pages. I don't know how did I finish it, but yes. I was so drawn to the story that I had to finish it. I could not keep it down. So yeah, it almost took me half of the lockdown to finish this book but it was so worth it because it is not a random uh, story about you know one day you just discover yourself and you leave the world and what happened to you next it is about how from childhood he was inspired a little but then he makes this journey of self uh, discovering and he does not easily fall into you know the guru system like if you find a guru and he accepts it uh, in fact in this book he's uh, emphasize on this uh, topic a lot that don't blindly just follow first you discover yourself then you accept that you want to be committed to a specific religion or a specific guru forever in your life like forever till you live then only do commit to such things so i think and also his traveling journeys uh how he roamed like he goes from america to india through land and what are the obstacles he find and uh, how in his uh, way of looking uh, people judge him xyz like there are a lot of stories uh, which is very good to read and it's very inspiring and also like very interesting to know like what happens you know you can see the behind the scenes of becoming a yogi so yeah do give it a try i highly highly recommend this continuing the season of autobiographies the second autobiography which i'll uh, red was mother teresa's it's by meg green and it's i was so excited to actually read this autobiography because i have since recent past uh worked in multiple ngos and that's why i just wanted to read this book to understand you know a public figure of that nature like what was her story in depth so and i must tell you i was not disappointed i loved her to the core like the story is so moving like in 90s she dedicated her entire life to this cause a small looking like a petite young lady transformed the whole scenario of humanity worldwide and uh, it's really please do do read this book it's awesome even if you can't then you can always go on youtube and search for autobiography of uh, mother Teresa, and you can get ample of videos Okay, so the fourth book that I recently read, which was on uh, ebook, so I had downloaded this PDF from uh, online, and it is called. And I had a, I had heard a lot about this book. Okay, every person, uh, whether it's an influencer or not, had put up a story of read, please read this book. So I was like, okay, I need to, and I don't know where and when will I get the physical copy of this book. So I was like, I might as read the, uh, online ebook. So I downloaded it and I read it as soon as I downloaded it and uh, I finished it in two days. Trust me guys, I finished it in two days because the book is so good. Good vibes, good life and it's amazing. It's by Vex King and every quote that he's written in the book is bring something in you. Like you think about that quote all day long, you can say. Uh, the paragraphs which he write is so relevant in today's life like there are multiple of uh, quotes that I had uh, posted on my Instagram so please do check my Instagram also and please follow me there and uh, it's an awesome book it's a uh, good I think I'm going to get a physical copy and keep it with me forever and I think that sums up that how much I like this book 
सो या प्लीज गो रीड इट इफ यू नीड मोटिवेशन और यू नो इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम समय देन दिस इज द बुक यू सो दिस वर द ओनली फोर बुक्स आई हैव रेड इन लॉकडाउन आई नो इट्स किन्ना स्लो बट आई थिंक समटाइम्स इट्स ओके टू रिलैक्स एंड आई होप यू लाइक दिस रिकमेंडेशन एंड डू लेट मी नो वॉट आर यू रीडिंग इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो टिल देन लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बाय